Alright, hey guys, today is December the 15th and we're just going to do another weekly plant update. So as we can see over here, we have the sunflowers, which you might have remembered in the earlier video where I thought that these seeds were actually lemon seeds. They're not lemon seeds at all. They are sunflower seeds. These, from what I can tell, are only producing one head as of right now. I'll tell you what I mean in just a second when I go over to the other um, brand, the other um, other type of sunflower. Have you ever seen this before? Here's our main yellow sunflower head. But let's look at this. There's another sunflower head. There's going to be another one there. There's going to be another one there and another one there. There are going to be, and, and there's another one down there as well. Have you ever seen this before? Multiple sunflowers on one stem? This is the first time, the first time I have ever seen this myself. I'm shocked, I surely am. It's the same deal with this one here. We've got the one head here, we've got another head here, another head down there, another head there. We've got some more producing there. We've got another one coming down there. We've got one coming down here. My question now is, we look at how thin this is, and we look at how this guy can barely even hold himself up here. How is he going to support four or five sunflower heads? I just don't understand it. It's weird. Something I've personally never seen before. So it's going to be interesting to see how they turn out. Because as you can see, this just looks magnific magnificent. That yellow there just looks beautiful. It truly does. Um, we'll come over down to our uh, capsicums. These are finally, this guy here is finally growing up. I gave it a bit of fertilizer. This one here was just so stagnant. It just was not growing at all. It was really doing my head in. I just don't know why it wasn't growing. So I gave it a bit of fertilizer and it's shot up finally. haven't fertilized anything else. I don't wish to. I don't, I don't particularly like to use fertilizer. I'll only give our plant fertilizer just to give it that little boost so that it can kick itself in the ass to get itself moving, as with the sunflower. Uh, sorry, as with the um, capsicums. Our seed plant capsicums here, they are probably too deep in water right now, and are most likely going to need to have that water drained out. But they are, yeah. They're not growing particularly fast, but they are growing. Our capsicums over here, we haven't got any real capsicums on here yet. And these flowers, for some reason, just keep on falling off, as you can see. Not sure if that's because they're not being fer um, fertilised. But, a bit of a shame. Uh, our guys over here, this one here is looking pretty good. I think my camera's dirty. Nah. Okay, never mind. Our tomatoes over here, they're looking pretty good. You can start to see now, there's going to be some buds growing there of tomato heads. So that's pretty good. And there's going to be some going down there as well. So these are seed planted tomatoes. And those three capsicums there are seed planted. The two large pots, either side of that uh, plastic container, is Audi bought. All of these three containers in here, these tomatoes, capsicums, they are seed planted. That's basil that I found on the side of the road. This is some, um, this is another tomato plant right here. This guy here is going pretty well. I haven't given this any fertilizer, I don't wish to. As I said, I don't need to give my plant sunflower. Ah, uh, sunflower, goodness me. Been a long week at school. I don't give my plants fertilizer unless I feel that they really need it I just you know it's like giving someone Panadol if they don't really need it they can live perfectly fine without the Panadol so why give them chemicals when they don't need it it's the same with fertilizer yeah it's natural but it's also got synthetic stuff in it just let nature do its course this is all natural grown I I really don't fertilize much that's the, that's the first time I fertilized any of my plants. These guys in here, looking really good. 
there you can start to see some tomato buds in here so that's awesome to see as you can see in there as well uh, seed this is from Audi this is a orange tomato as you can see orange blood tomato never seen this before so I thought I'd snap it up and get them here's a uh, very tall sunflower in here you can start to see that this guy here uh, it's not producing any heads yet but we'll see what happens shortly that's a um, seed planted tomato over there our store bought cucumber sorry bloody old cucumber capsicum you can start to see look at the capsicum growth on this guy Whew. Don't this look good, hey? Damn! This guy in here, I think that head's just gonna fall off. No, it's that on. There's a lot of heads on these capsicums that just keep falling off for some reason. Not too sure why. So that's good. These are seed planted sunflowers. Here's another example. Look how nice that looks. You've got to be honest. We've got some more heads growing on the plants. As a, and again, I have never seen this before. I used to do gardening back in the day with a um, female teacher back in uh, my old primary school. And we used to have a um, veggie patch garden outside just behind our classroom. And we would go capsicums and tomatoes and sunflowers and lettuce. We grew so much lettuce. I love lettuce. We grew all these vegetables. This was back in year three. So this was back in 2009. And I, I, even when we were growing those sunflowers back in 2009, 2008, year three, year two, back in primary school, I never remember seeing sunflowers that had two or three heads on it. If we have a look at this sunflower in here, this guy here, let's count them. Let's honestly count them. Here's what looks like to be one flower producing. There's another one back here. Two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there's another one seventeen seventeen heads just on that plant like whoa imagine this sunflower full of yellow heads just think how beautiful that would look Got another sunflower at the back here. This guy in here. If you look at the garden, it just looks so nice. Like you have a look at the garden and it's all green. Look at it. It's all green. There's barely any saturated colours except there's a bit of blue there, as you can see. But then you've got that bright, vibrant yellow. And to me, that bright, vibrant yellow just makes the garden look so much nicer. It just brings out the summer. It just looks really, really good. So once you start seeing those growing, that's going to look really, really, really nice, I personally think. I personally think they're going to look so nice. Um, we'll go over to our uh, store-bought, Audi store-bought tomatoes. These guys are looking really good as well. And again, I haven't used any fertiliser. I don't, I don't like fertiliser. I let nature do its job. Ah, uh, sorry, I just got some leg. As we can start to see, there were some actual tomatoes growing on the head here, but I'm not too sure where they disappeared to. Oh no, sorry, here we are. There's a tomato there. Yeah, these guys here, they all started to... I'm not too sure what's going on here. I think I played with them too much and they've kind of wilted and died on me. But well, we've got some growing down here, so that's pretty good. And we've got a few coming up the top there, so that's pretty good. But we've got that one tomato here, and that's looking really nice and strong and healthy. So that's really good. Loving the nice looks of those tomatoes. We have so many tomatoes on this plant in here. Let's have a look at them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we got all of them up here as well. So you can see just the tomato plant there, you can see the colour change now it's starting to become a light green from that very rich, dark 
green starting to lighten out now so that's looking really good this tomato plant in here is also looking really good as well you can start to see that they've got some tomatoes going on there we've got some going up the top here so that's really good to see we've got a bit of foliage here I'm actually, I've actually decided, actually we've got quite a few tomato buds growing up the top here as well. Totally forgot about them. But I've actually decided to let the uh, foliage grow out. I'm just going to let it thicken up a bit. And then I'll brutally trim it back. Probably around the 10th, maybe the 15th of December. Sorry, not December, it's already December. Of January. So it's going to give it about, well today's the 15th, 15th, it's going to give it... 30 days, it's going to give about a month. I'll oh, just let it grow out and see what happens. We should start to see these younger guys down here become much bigger and much thicker, much stronger. They might even start producing some fruit, you never know. We're going to have a lot more sunflowers producing as well. You're going to see some, a lot more yellow. Like, look at that. You can see the pool's gone green again. The pool's fucking shit. You need to get chemicals put in that. <sighs> too much work to deal with <laughs> uh, you can just see how beautiful that looks like and if you feel the um, petals as well they're almost oh they're petals I think they're petals leaves they feel like silk feels like the earlobes of a baby dog oh, so cute but yeah so that's pretty much a quick update of the garden you can see the beautiful nice yellow sunflower however small it is still looks really good you can see that even though we trimmed back the sunflower leaves and we only had very small um, leaves we've now got big leaves again we can actually see that this sunflower in here is going to be humongous you can already see it just by the size of how many flowers are surrounding that bud that head there you can tell that that is going to be one very big sunflower so that's going to look amazing in my opinion when it's all done so yeah guys that's about it i don't think there's really much else to be showing you um yeah you know i hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you guys in a bit bye for now thank you